Now, hit me with your rhythm stick and reasons to be cheerful were massive hits for Ian Drury and the Blockheads, as you know. It's two years since the death of lead singer Ian Drury from cancer, but his music still lives on with Norman Watroy and Mickey Gallo join us to tell us all about it. Hello, boys. Hi, two years since uh, Ian died, it doesn't seem like it, does it? No, it's whip by. And uh, this album now, ten more turnips from the tip, which is a it. great yeah. title. Yeah. And where did you find that title? It you... was on, it, Ian wrote it on a piece of paper that Sophie found, his wife, and uh, it was the title of an album. He, he had lots of titles for different albums. We had quite a few, didn't we? Contenders. But uh, he'd written it on the top of the paper and he'd put down about seven of the songs. Mm. So. It must be a bit odd, uh, releasing an album posthumously, almost. I know it's a tribute as well, and it's to celebrate a lot of the stuff that he actually didn't know he'd written. Mm. Mm. Uh, but it must be odd. Well, it was a, an album we were working on, so we had full expectations that it was going to come out. It was high eight is set in when he died, of course, and, and we backed off and we thought, well, you know, we won't release any more material. And then, of course, his, his, his lady wife found this list and asked us to finish the album. So it was really with relief that we finished Yeah, and, it. and the family has given its blessing, hasn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, 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 yeah. And then uh, Robbie Williams tips up. What's the story behind that? Well, Robbie was at the funeral. Him and Ian were, had become friends for the last couple of years. Ian got him into the UNICEF. Uni UNICEF. Yeah. That's what got them together. They went out to Africa and Sri Lanka. And uh, he was at the funeral. We played the last song Ian wrote at the funeral. And Robbie happened to say, that's a great song who's singing that if you need someone i'm your man right so we and we've got a text next week we now. were in the studio yeah, really. okay sign there <laughs> yeah all right let's have a look at it then because uh, this is robbie williams singing. Williams, but that was the tribute concert. That, yeah, that, he was uh, singing Sweet Jean Vincent there. there one of the... But the song that he's recorded for you is it was the last Ian's song that last Ian, song. Ian ever wrote, and he was too You're the Ill. Why. Yeah, he was too ill to sing it himself. Robbie came into the studio after that concert and uh, and, and did it. Uh, and great job he made of it. Well, too. Who does most of the rest of the singing then? Um, well, we um, we have been on the road just now. We just finished a little tourette, and uh, John Turnbull. The guitarist, yeah. who's got a wonderful voice, he and always reckoned him as the best singer in the band. Anyway, now he gets a chance to come up and prove mm. that and show people what he can do. And Chaz Jankel takes singing, and, and Norman and I do a bit of block vocals, breeze blocks, we're called. <laughs> and we mentioned that the family was very supportive of this venture. How do they feel now that it's released? Released last week. How Relief, do they feel now? <laughs> Relief I think. at the release. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's kind of closure, I suppose, for them in a way, is it? Yes, it would be. Yeah. Mm. And how are the fans reacting to it? Fantastic Great. at the moment, yeah. It's Great doing, reviews, it's, fantastic. Mm. And down south, we've just done this little run of gigs down south, ending up in Wales. They're just, mm. yeah, amazing. Yeah. And you guys must be pleased because th th there must have been a time when, when Ian was ill and then certainly when he died that you thought possibly that was the end of the road for the band as such. It was harrowing, but, you know, yes, mm. it was. And um, we did actually break up when he died. We, we, you know, we, we, just, said, we said, less, we, we had two choices, basically, stop or carry on. <laughs> yeah. And after about... A few months, we all decided we wanted to carry on. Yeah. Know, the temptation is to stop, of course, isn't it? Because it yeah. almost feels like at the end of an era. It seemed to be the sensible thing. If we were going to carry on and try to do replace him with somebody, I think yes, best thing to do is stop because yeah. he's a one-off. He's irreplaceable. So you know, we've decided not to bother. But the Blockheads had an identity of their own, didn't they? Anyway. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, so, so that that's stands what, you in good stead. That's what we're flogging right now. We're yeah. out there doing that. And coming up touring in the north at any point? Well, we plan to do that. This is our first little. <laughs> Step into the north. Yeah. The advance guard, come yeah, see what yeah. we like. Yeah, 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 yeah. And what do you think? Are we all right? Yes, yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm a northerner myself. I'm from the other side of the country, but oh, Newcastle, yeah. 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 Um, well, lovely Geordie Lilt still. Uh, Geordie Lilt still there. And of course, Robbie's from Stoke, which and, is yeah. just on our, the bottom of our. We've area. always been a cosmopolitan band. I mean, yeah. Norm was born in Bombay, our original drummer was from Guyana. You know, well, you've come on the rise eight today with the. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Yeah. Lovely, yeah. brilliant, wasn't it? Long and I met Ian Drury once. I was pleased to meet him at a program he recorded for us up here. For the Men of Motors channel, which was uh, that Noddy Holder was presenting a pop quiz. All right, yes, all right. Yeah, and he yeah. was great. You know, and it's, it's such a thrill to meet him. It's good to meet you two too. Thank Cheers, you very much. Thanks, I hope the album yeah. does well. Thank Cheers. you very much. Now, a couple of weeks ago, we revealed the winners of.